us, Richie. You're gonna grow up to be a very powerful pup. Yes, right. What's up? All right. Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, man. The like button is right around here under this video. Thumbs up. All right. The Nintendo Switch Pro, according to leaks, rumors, reports, scheduled to come out as early as mid-2020 and as late as holiday 2020. I personally think... The model, the Nintendo's console should come out before Sony and Microsoft drops their um, consoles. But reporting are saying as early as summer 2020. I think perfect would be an E3 launch of the device. But that's not why you clicked on this video. The title said Nintendo Switch Pro features. And so Nintendo would be insane to launch a Switch Pro and have it on the same power level give us the same exact console that we currently have and so for this video we're going to talk about the features that should be in the nintendo switch pro scheduled to launch within this next year and number one the most wanted feature has to be power bro bro most Third-party games on the Nintendo Switch run at lower frames and lower resolution. Most of the games run at a lower quality than their um, rival, their counterparts, PlayStation and Sony, uh, PlayStation and Xbox. The most important thing Nintendo needs to do with this console is to give us more power, a better CPU and GPU, so our games can at least, at minimum, run at 60 frames per second i understand i'm cool with a lot of games running at a lower resolution but i draw the line at gameplay i just want 2k nba 2k 20 60 frames per second you could do it nintendo and the fact that microsoft and playstation will more than likely be having some overlapping for the next two or three years possibly with the playstation 5 playstation 4 xbox one xbox series x this gives nintendo an opportunity to capitalize on third party games that will be ported to last generation consoles and so third party so power 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 i think has to be has to be um, important for Nintendo to receive those third-party games so Nintendo won't be left behind when it comes to porting third-party games on their um, platform I think power has to be a priority now do I think the switch pro will be on the same power level as Sony and Microsoft's next-gen consoles no if they give me at least 1080p 60 frames per second I'd be good to go bro and so power has to be number one two i think all games have to be compatible across the switch family from the switch Lite all the way to the switch pro i think backwards compatible not so much backwards compatibility because of the same generation technically but compatibility across switch consoles how hot would you be if you just bought Splatoon 2 on your Switch. It's tied to your Nintendo account. And you are upgrading to a Switch Pro. You transfer all your games. And a message pops up that says, this game is not compatible with the Nintendo Switch Pro. Or, more than likely, vice versa. Third-party developers making games Doom Eternal. Well, that's already coming to the Switch. But what if Doom Eternal... It's announced for the Switch Pro, and you can't buy it on your current Switch model. You would be upset, bro. And so I think Nintendo, and this is probably going to have to come from Nintendo, where they say third-party developers. Um, if you're making a game on the Switch Pro, it has to be compatible with 
all current Switch models. Nintendo doesn't wa want to alienate current Switch owners. At least have this policy in for the first one or two years of the Switch Pro. Eventually, you might have to phase out the older generation Switch models, but um, at launch, there has to be cross console compatibility between Switch Pro and um, um, standard Switch models. The next thing. And I already know, you already know I was going to mention it. we beaten the dead horse. Achievements, Nintendo. Cuphead. I beat Cuphead on my Xbox One. Beginning to end. Got the achievements. I bought it and I beat it again on my Switch. I was bummed that there weren't any achievements that I could see. Uh, in my, when I go to my home screen, I click on my account on my Switch. This dude beat Cuphead, bro. Um, I like achievements. I like achievements. Achievements tie you to a platform, hook you um, to a game. If all things are equal with a third-party game, same exact game, same exact experience, but one game has achievements and the other one doesn't, the one with achievements have a slight advantage. I know what you dudes are going to say. I mean, man, no one cares about achievements. They're lame, bro. Why are you playing games for trophies that don't mean anything? Bruh, we could have them as an option. If you don't want achievements, you could turn it off, and it's a win-win. All right, the next thing that I think should be on the Switch Pro voice chat. On the current Switch um, um, model, we have to use our cell phones. We have to use a mobile device to communicate with our friends in most games. Now, and this is what's so crazy about it. Some games, like Fortnite on the Switch has native voice chat. Other games, you have to use a mobile app. It makes no sense. If the Switch Pro is going to have more RAM, more power, you should leave space to have voice chat in games where it won't affect the quality of the gameplay. I think I know why Nintendo doesn't include voice chat in a lot of their games because it, it requires more processing power, etc. Give us more power. Voice chat um, should be a standard, a standard and the Switch Pro voice chat, where you don't even have to be in a game, bro. You can invite your friends to a party like Xbox Live, and y'all could just hang out before the game. Y'all, yo, what y'all want to play today, bro? What y'all on, man? You want to hop on 2K? Let's go, bro. <laughs> voice chat, I think, should be a bus, a standard. The next thing that I think should be a next feature that should be on the Switch Pro themes. You know, one of my favorite games on the Switch, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be a day one buy. Bro, why can't I have a Breath of the Wild theme, bro? Why can't I have an NBA 2K theme, bro? That, that, that baffles me why the Nintendo doesn't even have that. That shouldn't take too much memory or RAM. And I get it. To Nintendo's credit... The Switch home screen, simple, gets us right to our games. It's clean and it's fast. Y'all remember the Wii U where you clicked on play game and it took like two minutes to just get the game going? On the Switch, it's instant. And so I appreciate that. But you can do a little more, Nintendo. And the last feature that I think should be on in the Switch Pro, a longer Bat no, not a longer battery life. A longer battery life than the OG Switch, but the same battery life that's in Switch version 2. I bought the version 2 Switch. Those are the Switches that come in the red boxes, bro. The battery life on this console is insane. Nintendo, do what Apple be doing, bro. Oh, they announced we got more processing power, more features, more of this, more of that, and the same great battery life where battery life isn't compromised because of the power i think that would be lit i think um these are some of the features that i definitely think should be in the switch pro on twitter i asked 
what features would you want in a Switch Pro that is not on current Switch? And you guys had some great, great responses. Bustin Jensen, 60 frames per second on everything. The homie Super Metal Dave, game achievements, 1080p 60 target, 4K TV support, themes, me bro. I miss Miiverse. And so you guys had some great responses for what you would want in the Nintendo Switch Pro. Now, I want you guys in the comment section, sound off. Let me know what you guys want in the Nintendo Switch Pro model. What are your most wanted features? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro! Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. We out of here, man. I mean it. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at Obi One Plays, and that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch gaming Discord? Become a member. Three ways to join one through youtube there's a join button right below this video it's two through twitch twitch prime you can do it for free or just subscribe through twitch and number three the third way to join patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description see you later peace